Evolution, the scientific theory that species, which today seem designed for their environments, were not created perfectly as they are, but over time adapted themselves from ancestral organisms. This theory is one of biology's most basic foundations, yet is denied by a large number of people in America. Many of them are fundamentalist Christians, who take the Bible to be literally true, and believe that God created all life as it is now. Yet these fundamentalists ignore their own history in denying the scientific device. When looking at the history of religion, Christianity especially, through the lens of evolution, astounding parallels can be drawn between the development of life and the development of faith. Speciation is when a lineage is split into two distinct species. Mormonism split off from mainstream Christianity in the mid-19th century. Radial speciation is when a new evolutionary opportunity allows many new species to evolve and fill new evolutionary niches. When Martin Luther decided to split with a long-established Catholic Church in the 1400s, a new religious niche opened, allowing many new variations and sects of Christianity to come into being. This was called the Reformation. Allopatric speciation occurs when a new species comes into being because of distance or other physical barriers between it and the parent species. An example are finches on the Galapagos Islands versus finches on the mainland of South America. In the early 1500s, Henry VIII split the Anglican Church from the control of the Pope. The basic religion was the same, save for the different centers of power. The earliest ancient species connecting to modern species is a common ancestor. Both modern species evolved from the common ancestor, an example are modern apes and humans. Islam and Christianity both branched off from the older Judaism. These distinct religions have given rise to even more branches, all of which can be traced back to their Jewish common ancestor. Convergent evolution refers to when a similar trait evolves separately in two existing lineages. Examples include birds and bats, marsupial equivalents to eutherian mammals, and fish and whales. The Buddha and Jesus preach similar teachings, despite 500 years separating their lives. Although these teachers lived in completely separate regions, having entirely different faiths, the strength of their similarities can be seen in specific phrases and parables. Evolution has been denied since it was first theorized. Today, it is still not accepted by a large population of the world, despite its scientific credibility. However, the lens of evolution works, even when applied to cultural phenomena. Modern religions did not always exist. People of thousands of years ago believed in completely different things than we do today. If you look at things critically, in light of all the facts, it is obvious that religion has evolved over time. We cannot rest on old conclusions simply because they are easy. Moving forward, we must look at all of the evidence, if we are to find anything resembling the truth.